We work with Davis Wright, Tremaine, and Neotologic to create a Subpoena Express, which is designed to address third-party third subpoenas. So third-party subpoenas are subpoenas that are issued to parties that, to individuals as well as entities that are not actually parties to the lawsuit. Our goal is to streamline that process of responding to third-party subpoenas by building an application that has integrate, integrated document automation in order to, to produce a response to that subpoena. So what are we trying to achieve here? The first problem that law firms are going to address is just the sheer volume of these subpoenas that roll in every day. The average large law firm or large in-house legal department can respond to upwards of 50 subpoenas every single month, and those are just for cases that they're not directly involved in. And then another problem that we wanted to address is workflow. There's a lot of people involved in this process, such as the client, the attorney, as well as the illegal assistant who's actually responding to the subpoena. subpoena. So we want to make sure that everything is very clean throughout the process. Now one thing to keep in mind too, this is not an optional process. This is something that every law firm and every large organization is going to have to find a way to deal with efficiently. You can't not respond to these subpoenas and doing it efficiently is going to streamline not only your process but your bottom line. So currently Davis Wright Tremaine uses an Excel spreadsheet that has all of the objections that they may want to use. They copy those objections and then paste them into a Word document and then hand type everything out. And then this is one person doing all that work, so it creates a bottleneck effect. Now, what we're trying to achieve with our product here is, uh, first of all, finding a way to avoid slip-ups. We need to find ways for these firms and in-house uh, legal departments to timely comply with these subpoenas because there can be very serious consequences for the failure to do so. Exactly. And so we also want to reduce the production burden. With 50, of, 50 plus of these coming in each month, there's tons of uh, responses that need to be drafted and a lot of work that needs to be done. So the paralegals will assemble the documents and we'll do the actual response. Now, in addition, like I mentioned, uh, to reducing the time it takes, that reduction in time is going to result in uh, savings on the bottom line. It's also going to streamline communications between the client and the law firm. Um, the client doesn't need all the nitty gritty details, just sort of the bottom line. And so who are the people involved on the outside of the process? There's obviously the issuing party, the person who actually sent the subpoena, as well as the client who is going to identify and produce documents that the firm says that they need to do, as well as the courts who are going to enforce the production of documents if necessary. Meanwhile, on the inside of the firm and the in-house legal department, you're going to have the paralegal or the legal assistant who's going to do the majority of the work and spend the bulk of their time um, seeking the actual responses and then getting documents mm -hmm. together. And then the client, or I'm sorry, the attorney who's going to actually sign off on the the subpoena before it's sent out. So the most important things that need to be addressed are things like the due date. So if it's already passed due, the attorney is going to have to negotiate a new due date. Resources for who's best suited to draft this response, as well as the authorizations that need to be made throughout the process. In addition, you're going to look at things like jurisdiction. That's going to change the applicable rule of procedure that you'll need to follow. And the scope. What is the subpoena looking for? What exactly is trying to, what exactly is the purporting party trying to, trying to get out? And then, so with Subpoena Express, that's our application that we put together. There's hundreds of hours spent responding to these subpoenas by the legal assistant as well as the attorney if things have to go back and forth. We want to expedite that process by implementing expert system technology in order to expedite the process. So let's take a quick look at what the app's uh, looking like so far. This is the front page. You see that we're going to take a look at what jurisdiction we're in. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next screen, and that's going to begin to kind of get some of the basic information. So we built this out of Neota Logic, which is a rules, reasoning, decision management, and document automation platform. We use document management to deal with all of the big data that has to be input in, and document automation, which actually creates the response for us that the attorney is going to use. And you'll notice as we kind of go through the app, the system is going to ask very simple questions, something that anybody who's never even responded to one of these subpoenas before is going to be able to wrap their head around. And it's going to do so faster and more completely than any legal assistant could. So this is actually kind of our back end. This is our workflow that we put together. As you can see here, the blue arrows on the left, they have things such as jurisdiction, issuing party, and then here in the red circles, these are all the objections that the response actually produces um, for you with the document automation technology. And if we look on the back end of Neota Logic, you'll notice that the reasoning system is actually very straightforward. Uh, we're going to look at some of the basic information, then you are presented with a list of objections that may apply, and then the system is going to produce a response that can be sent out right from there. 
So all of this information is found on the subpoena's caption or the first page. There's things such as the plaintiff's information and then the firm, we, whatever firm we we're working with, that they would input all of their information just to make it an easier process and this will all be put into the end document for you. After that, you're going to be presented with a, again, very straightforward, simple language list of objections that may apply. If you need a little more information or a broader explanation, you can hover over the blue uh, icons there and it's going to give you a more in-depth um, explanation of what the objection does. So as we said, the objections are going to go into the response for you. It's all pre-done. Um, we used Westlaw to kind of get all of the correct documents and then all of the information from the subpoena's caption is going to be input throughout the entire document for you. So what does this process do that any regular paralegal couldn't? It's going to use that scaled expertise. We hope to eventually build out the program that it can work with document intake. So you can scan a document and skip all those preliminary steps, um, even saving even more time and money. So responding to, t to subpoenas is a tedious and time consuming process, especially with our partners who have one person that's doing a lot of the work herself. So this helps alleviate her from that and gives her the ability to work on tons of other things. So that's Subpoena Express. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to talking with you about it.